Hi and welcome to the Master Bell Show. Hopefully you've been keeping well. And in the video today, I'm going to be reading from the Daily Mail online from the money section of this newspaper. And it's going to be about how an I let an eco warrior, not me personally, loose in my house. And he slashed 700 pounds off my energy bills, including 432 pounds from light bulbs. So this might be an interesting read to, to read about tips for ways of saving money and then possibly maybe investing it in the future or putting it aside for a rainy day or paying off some debt if you are in debt. So the average household can cut £500 from their bills with energy saving gadgets. It comes as the government offers £5,000 to make homes more efficient. Um, Toby um, Wallin spoke to Save Money C Cut Carbons. Mark said about how he could cut his own bills. After some upfront expenses, he could save £1,132. So not a small amount of money, that is a sizable one. Holiday, so that is um, a very, very good holiday if you want a holiday. Or I could buy many nice meals out. Or to pay some bills or put it aside for some rainy days because about £1,100 is not a small amount of money by any stretch of the imagination. So a voice barks from a phone strapped to my chest, shaming me about the Blackpool illuminations, shining bright in my kitchen, yet gazing above my head all I can see are a dozen bulbs simply doing their job lighting the room in the winter gloom. <laughs> I like how they started it off. Mark Sait, chief executive of energy saving firm Save Money Cut Carbon, is not impressed as he spies on my every movement via a hands-free selfie stick strapped to my body and connected to a video app I downloaded on my smartphone. So for the record, he is sitting at a home 50 miles away in Bury St Edmunds just to make people pretty fully aware that they're in their way together and not isolating properly. So it says here, he is relentless in his cheating. Those lights were already on when you walked in the kitchen. It reveals a lot of your approach to saving energy. His Adonishments are part of the sustainability challenge I have agreed to participate in. It's designed to find ways to cut my household bills. It's designed to find my ways to cut my household bills while helping the planet. According to consumer group Energy Saving Trust, the average household can knock £500 a year off their total electricity, gas and water bills by installing energy saving gadgets and cutting waste, but Sate thinks I can do even better. I've also known aware of Boris Johnson's £12 billion green revolution to get Britain carbon neutral within three decades. Part of this is centred on a green home grant scheme offering up to £5,000 for energy saving projects such as cavity wall installations double glazing and heat pumps. The grants are valuable until the end of March next year, saves are off again. Each halogen bulb left on for 10 hours a day can add at least 20 pounds um, a year to your electricity bill. But each replacement LED in a spotlight can just use this two pounds of electricity a year. Um, yeah, so I'm I have actually moved to um, LED light bulbs um, before, um, like several months before this article was even released. Or um, the reason being is um, so that I can, I can make my room brighter and I don't have to consume as much electricity. Um, they put out, they consume 20 watts, but they put out I think 120 watts. And I've got three of them, so it's about nearly 400 watts. Yeah. Around for nearly 400 watts. 
And the reason being is I like to have my room nice and bright when it's dark, as I also don't want to start using considerable suns or electricity too light to my room. As well as it does pump out a lot of heat in the um, and the halogen uh, light bulbs. So that's really good advice that he gave um, to switch to LED uh, light bulbs. And if certain people don't like the certain types of light they give off, you can actually um, buy more like, white light or more yellow light or different um, varieties if, you, if that's something of a concern to you. Suddenly this simultaneous spy has my attention. Even I don't keep the kitchen lights on for 10 hours a day, but it could still be at least 5 for my family or 4. And with 4 dozen such lights around my home, I can calculate that we could be frittering away almost £500 a year on lighting when alternatives could just be a tenth of the price. But hang on, I say, I don't. These eco-friendly replacement lights cost a small fortune and have a cold amniotic glow. That's why I just did say they do do a um, different kind of um, lighting, but I have gone for like the cl clinically white light for myself personally. This is better suited to a, a museum. Sate has an answer for everything. Forget those old curly swirl eco bulbs, he retorts. Technology has come on in leaps and bounds. You can buy warm LED spotlights for just two pounds. I don't know about two pounds, but I know they're fairly cheap. These bulb ones just for start. Stretch a budget to eight pounds a bulb and I can get trendy vintage looking lights that dim. The kitchen tap then catches Sate's eye, eagle eye. He asks me to turn on the water for five seconds and fill a plastic bag he has sent to me. With the, full, with the bag half full, he calculates that if the water had gone straight down the plug hole, I would have wasted it at a rate of 14 litres a minute using a five pound tap. Actuator, he says, he would half this way. So, this is also, um, if you're on a meter, this is probably more of an issue if you're still trying to save money. If you're on a meter, yes, it does make more sense to do that, but if you're paying like a flat rate, then it doesn't, it's more of um, like you're trying to conserve water than trying to save, save money. Um, Actuators would also help conserve water from the two showers in my house, though he recommends the purchase of luxury version costing £100 each. The problem with cheap alteration shower heads is that they can look rubbish, he says. More expensive ones feel good on your skin, it's like being in a hotel spa. Mr. State isn't finished, I turn the selfie stick in the direction of my electrically powered agar cooker, the height of a decent Descendant, descendant waste that sends my energy meter spinning. I also pointed towards my ozone destroying wood burner in my living room. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Secretly, I'm hoping he will blow his top, but Sate disarms me with his response. Just growing, getting new eco friendly lights would make a great start, he says. It's the start that counts, you can then build on it, slowly introducing more and more eco friendly ideas. He even approves of how I, I only burn forged wood, but he gently suggests that £9 natural sustainable fire lighters would work wonders with birch bark kindling. This option does away with the unnecessary plastic packaging wrapping around the fire lighters I buy, and that's very true. That's good advice that him, he does uh, advise that. His gimlet eye then clocks the radiators. I thought I would already be a goody two shoes by having the thermostats on each radiator to control the heat. But Sate explains that a 50 pounds robo valve would stop further waste as it knows when a room is not being used and can turn off the heat. This could cut 30% off my heating bill. So that is a considerable amount of money. So for every 100 pounds, you'll be saving £30. So that's a large sum of money, which then could be spent elsewhere or conserved for a later date or invested 
productive and for your better future. Thankfully, it's as easy to fit and not like linked to fancy smart control or phone app that might go wrong. Further ideas are suggested that include an £8.50 pink laundry egg to do away with the fabric conditioners and an eight and a ten pound egg dryer that helps air circulate in my tumble dryer and can cut the energy use. Kitchens, rolls, dish cloths and loo rolls can be replaced with cheaper, eco-friendly alternatives made from recyclable mashed bamboo. It must might it depends if it's actually really soft. If it's quite rough then I don't think people would probably be doing it. But it definitely has to be uh, cheaper. Mark said it's no, not it's just an eco warrior. He is also a businessman and via money saving cut carbon sales, homeowners, green alternatives at half price. Everything from the new bulbs to light bulbs probably to loo rolls to fancy taps that like gush boiled water electric vehicle chargers and eco scooters to take advantage customers must join the home club and that costs four pounds 99 a month which is fair enough if he's giving out great advice and it's all packaged into one place and then he wants to charge a small fee for that then it's fair enough but if you want to do the research for yourself which will take more time and then then, then obviously you can do it for free but then again it's how much you value the, the time factor. The, the hour long video tour around my four bedroom home is over. Fighting my natural instinct to bulk at his do Google advice, my eco guide has won me over with his hard nose saving figures. Inspired by his light bulb moment, I set to work getting out the step ladder to start replacing my expensive old halogen lamp bulbs. Um, with the state of the art LED spotlight. So yeah, so in my house, I'm thinking the ones in my kitchen and the bathroom are still halogen ones, but I'm thinking eventually once they go, we will be replacing them probably with LED ones. The details of Green Homes Grant and other green ideas are available at his um, website there if you want to check it out. Obviously, you have to pay the fee of £4.99. 99 and let's see what the comment section has said best rated so I says seriously who will leave a bulb on for 10 hours and 48 of them <laughs> so um comment section is not great in this uh, article so yes yeah, so if you're, you're looking to save money in other areas I would recommend maybe um, looking at re-evaluating um, finding ways to, to reduce your bills um, by cost cutting methods such as um, energy saving light bulbs and obviously there's going to be some cost of buying the new bulb in the, in the future but then eventually it should pay for itself in the the future so you have to give sewing cup and then in the future you will have a uh, cheaper uh, energy bills and it's also maybe to, to shop around maybe for car insurance different insurances uh, phone bills home broadband it's, it's, it's good just to have like set a day aside and then trying to maybe each year trying to see if you can get a better deal or say you're thinking of leaving and just to see it um, they're going to give you a better deal so if you found this video useful i know it wasn't more investing but it's not always about investing sometimes it's also good to conserve money and save money and ways of saving money and putting it aside so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see further more videos of me going through the news then please feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel Clicking the bell notification button gets you notified when I next release a video. I also play video games where we talk about investing and sometimes we do not. As well as um, I um, document my investment portfolio. Right.